One thing that I think that we all could relate to is the struggles and the frustration with parking your car, whether it be at the airport or at the mall or at a shopping center. Sometimes the worst part about going and doing these tasks is trying to find a place to park. Well, Mercedes and Bosch have partnered up and apparently they have a potential solution to those headaches that can get you on to do those things that you wanna do. Today we are in Stuttgart, Germany at the Mercedes-Benz Museum where they have the pilot running for cars that will park themselves. And so I wanna see how this thing works. First, I need to figure out how to park this car because this is not the pilot car. This is the Mercedes Museum that we're at right now. That's why there's lots of Mercedes and like Mercedes in glass containers. For the simulation, this is the car that Daimler and Bosch are using to test it out. It's a Mercedes AMG 63. This one is all retrofitted inside so that it can connect to the LiDAR that is all around. You can see right here, there's towers right here and right there. So instead of just having all of the cars retrofitted in a way with all the sensors and everything, you know that cars automatically park themselves. A lot of them do. I've been in rental cars that are Fords and Toyotas. Mercedes will park themselves. Our Tesla will park itself. The difference is you're in there and you are still responsible for what it's doing. So the concept is rather than driving around trying to park your car, you pull up, you park your car in the designated self-park area, and then you pull out your phone app and you push a button that says park the car. I just stuck a GoPro right here inside the car so you can see the steering wheel and to see how it works. Nobody's gonna be in this car and we're gonna push the app and tell it to park. Okay, we're gonna do it guys. Here it goes, it's all by itself. There's the GoPro inside of it. Okay, here comes a car. There's some LiDAR sensors that are right there also. Are you seeing this? Nobody's even in the car right now, it's just driving. A lot of people might be saying, this is kind of ridiculous because why don't you just park your car yourself? I like letting the car drive by itself. I know that I would like letting my car park by itself. We're in 2018 right now, like why not have our car be smart and do things like this. And just like that, the car just came upstairs and parked by itself. One of the areas that I think that would be cool and that they're working on right now is when you think about all these cars that are being manufactured, usually when a car is manufactured, I know I've, I've been in a few car manufacturer plants, sometimes it takes less than a day from start to finish of a car coming off the line. But as soon as the car is finished, somebody has to physically get inside of it and drive it and park it to where it needs to go. But with this technology, I could see that working really, really well and so does Mercedes-Benz. Once they're off of the line and they're all manufactured, the first time that it would actually drive would be all by itself and it would pull out and just go and park where it needs to go. I wanna be in the car. Nobody was in it, which was definitely cool. The car's totally off right now. Let's pretend that we just landed, just went through security, got your baggage at the airport. You know you're gonna be walking out to the garage. You want your car to be ready, not just like warm for you. We are now in the car. There's no driver in this car. Garrett's in the front seat to monitor it and we've got the app, so if you just push pick up, your car will arrive in one minute, 43 seconds. There's a countdown. Whoop. Car's driving by itself. Not just driving by itself, but there's no human sitting over it looking at it right now. There are some Wi-Fi boxes that are inside the parking garage that are sending the signal from the LiDAR sensors to the Wi-Fi, which automates it all and looks at it and then speaks to the car and tells it where to go. All right, we're doing a little test. At my request, I'm like, what happens if you step in front of this thing? What's it going to do if somebody just walks in front of it? Garrett is wearing his safety vest. He's gonna stand in front of it. And then if somebody runs in front of it, it'll do an abrupt stop. And then it just keeps on going. Here's my next brilliant idea. I have a red football or soccer ball. What happens if a ball goes in front of it? It doesn't even know that the ball's about to come. So we've seen that even a ball that's that size, super small, is able it's able to see it and sense it and stop. That should make you feel pretty comfortable about it. So this is the car, that was a lot of fun. A lot of you might be asking, what is the time frame? When might something like this be available? Most likely the first cars that are rolling out will be 2020. As with everything with technology with Mercedes-Benz, a lot of the newer cars, when they start coming out, a lot of the other cars should be equipped with this. So Mercedes-Benz and Bosch are the ones that are pioneering this program together. It'll most likely happen in garages that are like, are high 
highly dense garages like airports and car rental places, things like that, where you need the cars need to get in there tight. It'll start with the Mercedes-Benz vehicles because they're the ones that pioneered the program, but it's not going to be an exclusive thing just to Mercedes for the future. It's going to be opened up to all car manufacturers. The way that Mercedes-Benz feels about this is that if more auto manufacturers are producing cars that will talk to the LiDAR and auto park, it's going to benefit the entire system as a whole. If you think you're gonna come out here and check it out by yourself and watch it, um, it's not really something that's open to the public. We just got an exclusive sneak peek because we were already here destroying an S-Class seat, which is really cool. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the different things from Stuttgart, Germany, and um, I had a blast. Let me know what your favorite thing was about the trip to Mercedes-Benz headquarters, and if I came back, what would you like to see next time? Thanks a lot.